Today we are going to discuss about Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Before going to know Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, before going to know Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, we have to know dual nature of matter. You know dual nature. Dual nature means particle exhibiting nature and wave nature. Radiation exhibits particle nature and wave nature is known as dual nature. So dual nature means radiation exhibits particle nature as well as wave nature. So, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is the direct consequence of dual nature of matter. According to classical physics, according to classical mechanics, according to classical mechanics, a particle is considered, according to part, uh, classical mechanics, particle have a definite position and also definite momentum. In wave mechanics, in wave mechanics, particle is uh, in wave mechanics, particle is considered as wave packet. A wave packet consists of two or more than two waves having slightly different frequencies. If the wave packet is small, if it is, uh, if the wave packet is small, we can look at the position of the particle. When the particle spread out through the space, then it is, then there is indeterminate in position, in velocity. If the particle is large, if the particle is large, then it is, you can determine the velocity, the velocity can be fixed, but there is uncertainty in the position of the particle. Okay, so when wave packet is small, you can fix the position of the particle, but there is indefiniteness in the velocity. If the wave packet is large, there is, you can fix the velocity, but there is indefiniteness, uncertainty in the velocity or momentum. This, by this we can say, or according to, pro, uh, uh, according to Bond's probability interpretation, there is a definite probability of finding the particle in the space. This is uh, the introduction of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. That means, if there is uh, certainty in the location of the position of the particle, uncertainty in its momentum. It involves uncertainty in its momentum. If there is certainty in its momentum, it involves uncertainty in the location or determination of the position of the particle. So, by this is the introduction for the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The statement of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is, it is impossible to determine the position and the momentum of a particle. It is impossible to determine the position and the momentum of a particle to any desired degree of accuracy, simultaneously to any desired degree of accuracy. Again, I am repeating the statement of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. It is impossible to measure the position and the momentum of a particle simultaneously to any desired degree of accuracy. Qualitatively, this statement represents 
the order of uncertainties in the product of two physical variables is at least planck's constant that means it can be written as mathematically the statement can be written as two physical variables the product of two physical variables is at least planck's constant is at least planck's constant identically equal to h here delta x is the uncertainty in the position delta px is the uncertainty in momentum so the product of these two is identically equal to h and another two physical variables delta e and delta t so here delta e is the uncertainty in energy delta t is the uncertainty in time these two product of these two variables is identically equal to h and another two physical variables are delta j and delta theta delta j into delta theta is identically equal to h in this third case this is equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 in equation 3 delta j is the angular momentum and delta theta is the uncertainty in angle okay so this is the mathematical form of heisenberg's uncertainty principle and exact statement for heisenberg's uncertainty principle the product of these two variables the product of these two variables can never smaller than h by 4 pi so that must also can be written delta x into delta px is always greater than or equal to h by 4 pi and delta e into delta t is always equal to greater than or equal to h by 4 pi and delta j delta theta is always greater than or equal to h by 4 pi this is the exact statement of heisenberg's uncertainty principle what is that the product of two variables can never smaller than the h by 4 pi that means it is always the product of these two physical variables always greater than h by 4 pi are equal to h by 4 pi so now this is about heisenberg's uncertainty principle first statement and mathematical form and exact form of the heisenberg's uncertainty principle now derive uncertainty in energy and time the principle of uncertainty uncertainty in energy and time uncertainty in energy and time consider a free particle of mass m not and it is moving along the x axis with velocity vx then the kinetic energy e is equal to if a particle consider a particle of mass m not and it is moving along x axis with velocity v so vx the kinetic energy is given by e is equal to half m v square half m v square here m is the rest mass so m not v is along x axis so v sub x x this is equal to half m not square vx square by 2 by m not by m not this equation is multiplied and divided by m not then we we get m not square vx square by 2 m not m square v square is p square so this is along x axis so px square by 2 m not so e is equal to px square by 2 m not this is equation 1 
where delta e and delta p x where delta e and delta p are the uncertainties in energy and the momentum then differentiating equation 1 differentiating equation 1 then we get delta e d e is written as delta e p square differentiation of p square is 2 p x d x delta x by 2 m naught here 2 2 is cancelled and p x into delta x is equal to 2 uh, m naught into delta e m naught into delta e delta x is equal to delta x is equal to m naught by p x m naught by p x into delta e here p is the momentum so m naught by m naught into v x into delta e so m naught m naught is cancelled 1 by v x into delta e is equal to 1 by v x into delta e this is equation 2 delta x is equal to v x into delta t so you know the distance formula distance is equal to velocity into time velocity along x axis so v x into uncertainty in time is delta t this is equation number 3 from equation 2 and 3 from equations 2 and 3 multiply left sides and uh, is equal to multiply both right side delta x into delta p x is equal to 1 by v x 1 by v x into delta e into v x into delta t so v x v x is cancelled delta e into delta t we know that delta x into delta p x is identically equal to h here in this equation delta x into delta p x is equal to delta e into delta t so we can therefore we can write delta e into delta t is identically equal to h here we are uh, prove that the product of uncertainty in energy and uncertainty in time is identically equal to h by using uncertainty in position and momentum so next we are going to discuss an example of uncertainty principle that is determination of the position of the particle determination of the position of the particle position of particle by gamma ray microscope by gamma ray microscope This is the gamma ray microscope.
by viewing the particle of the the position of the particle can be located by the in the field of gamma ray microscope here the position of the particle in the field of gamma ray microscope the resolving power of the microscope is given by by using bragg's law 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda here d is the distance that means the distance between the two particles or the uncertainty in position of the particle is identically equal to n is equal to 1 lambda by 2 sin theta this is equation number 1 here delta x is the resolving power of the microscope the resolving power means the distance between the two the dis smallest distance between the two points that can be resolved by the microscope delta x is identically equal to lambda by 2 sin theta this is equation number one in order to observe the electron a photon must strike the electron here the photon is moving and here is the electron it strikes the electron and photon enter in, enters into the field of gamma ray microscope here the momentum initial momentum p the component x the comp, x component of momentum is px is in the angle 2 theta anywhere in the field of gamma ray microscope so here momentum is conserved delta px is identically equal to p sin theta minus of minus p sin theta p sin theta minus of minus plus 2p sin theta here p is the momentum p is equal to h by lambda you know de Broglie wavelength de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h by p from that p is equal to h by lambda here p is equal to h by lambda so 2 h by lambda sin theta this is equation number 2 by using equations 1 and 2 delta x into delta px delta x into delta px is identically equal to lambda by 2 sin theta into 2 h by lambda sin theta lambda lambda is cancelled 2 sin theta 2 sin theta is cancelled and h remain h remains so delta x into delta p x is identically equal to h this is the heisenberg's uncertainty principle that states that the product of uncertainty in its position and momentum is identically equal to Planck's constant h. Thanks to everyone.